So that was really fun to see. What you saw was a nuclear reactor pulsing, meaning that it went from subcritical to critical just like that, and then went back subcritical. That blue glow is something we call Chernyenkov radiation. Now, Chernyenkov radiation is when an electron travels faster than the speed of light. Now, the electrons don't come from the fuel and travel through the cladding and then make it into the water. What actually happens is that there's a very small fraction of the photons given off by the fission that are really high energy. And these photons will scatter off of electrons in the water. This scattering off of the electrons we call Compton scatter. And the threshold for a photon to just be able to do a Compton scatter resulting in creating an electron that's traveling the speed of light is around 750 kilo electron volts. And that's just barely enough to just create one electron. Usually they won't even make it. So you're gonna need a few MeV typically to get a good yield of these Compton scattered electrons that are gonna be traveling faster than the speed of light. So it's really just photons coming from the fuel, making it through the cladding, and then those photons, only the really high energy ones, as they interact with the water and scatter off of the electrons in the water, creating these scattered electrons that then are able to travel faster than light. And then those electrons, once they're traveling faster than light, they create a Doppler effect, kind of like when a train goes by. It's louder as it's coming towards you and then it gets quieter as it's going by. That effect is amplified in terms of the uh, emanating field coming off of that electron because it's got an electric field. And that field that's coming off of that electron is just traveling fast in light because that field travels out from the electron at the speed of light, creating that, that Doppler effect. Comes something similar to a sonic boom in terms of what happens when with, with uh, sound. But it's happening, happening with light, which is also a wave phenomena. So that's what it is. It's photons scattering off of electrons, creating these high energy electrons that travel faster than light. And when they do that, that sonic boom equivalent is that blue glow, that pretty blue glow that you saw. So a fun effect. Uh, I, I, I love to see the blue glow uh, in a pool reactor like that. Uh, I've seen a number of them and it's really cool. It's an amazing blue, just an amazing blue uh, when you see it. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I, I thank the creator that actually filmed that. That was a great film uh, showing that effect. And so I hope you enjoyed the explanation and uh, watch the blue glow again. It's something I can watch over and over again. So I hope you have a good day. Thanks for watching. Bye.